Aloha, my name is Nicole Lang. I'm an earth science student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Aloha, my name is Gagian Lali, and I'm a natural resource and environmental management major at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Together, we intern at the University of Hawaii Sea Grant College Program. Hawaii Sea Grant is an organization that aims to help communities better understand and conserve Hawaii's coastal and marine areas. The Hawaiian Islands are home to beautiful, vibrant marine areas and coastal communities that are being impacted by rising sea levels. Therefore, we wanted to create a video that would explain and break down the main causes of sea level rise. We hope this will help Hawaii residents understand how sea level rise poses a threat to their environment. In Hawaii and in many other Pacific Island communities, we are witnessing the huge impacts of sea level rise firsthand. It is important for everyone to understand the magnitude of these impacts since they affect our daily lives. In order to understand sea level rise, we will have to look at the root causes behind the problem. This allows us to develop effective solutions to help reduce the hazards that will eventually affect our homes, coastline, beaches, and economies. We know that greenhouse gases lead to a warmer earth. We will dig into that in a minute in more detail. So with that in mind, let's get started with explaining the two major causes of global sea level rise. The first is thermal expansion of seawater, and the second is melting of land-based ice near polar regions like glaciers and ice sheets. Sea level rise is not exclusive to only Hawaii, it is a global issue and therefore there are global organizations and international panels consisting of economists and scientists from different countries who study the cause and effect of climate change and global sea level rise. One very well-known panel is the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC. In 2018, the IPCC produced a report that stated with high confidence that thermal expansion and melting of land ice were responsible for 75% of observed global sea level rise. So let's start with thermal expansion of ocean water. You're probably wondering what is heating up the ocean. The answer begins in space with the sun. The sun produces heat and energy that radiates through space. When the sun's radiation hits the Earth, some of the radiation reflects back into space while the rest gets absorbed by the Earth's surface. So what happens to the heat that is not absorbed by the Earth's surface? It gets absorbed by clouds or by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, such as methane, nitrous oxide, ozone, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. Any remaining heat that isn't absorbed by clouds or gases will get re-released back into space. This absorption of heat by the atmosphere allows Earth to stay at a temperature suitable for life. However, the problem comes when there is a higher than normal concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. In this situation, the greenhouse gases act as a blanket, trapping too much heat in the atmosphere, causing the temperature to rise or global warming. In response to the increasing temperature, global sea levels have begun to change due to thermal expansion of oceans. Thermal expansions happen when water expands because of an increase in water temperature. Naturally, the ocean absorbs heat from the atmosphere, but since there's a higher concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trapping more heat, the ocean is also absorbing more heat. Warm water has a greater volume than cold water. So when the temperature of the ocean increases, the total volume of the ocean will increase with it. The increased volume causes water levels in the ocean to rise, making it possible for them to reach our coastal cities and favorite beach parks. Now let's talk about melting of ice near the polar regions. First, let's think about what a glacier is. A glacier is a big chunk of ice that is created by an accumulation of snow on top of land over a long period of time. Glaciers are formed and found in high latitudes in areas with very low temperature. When glaciers melt, the ice goes from solid to liquid. The water that was once frozen on land is now flowing into the ocean, adding to its volume and thus increasing sea levels. We see glaciers and ice sheets melting very quickly because of global warming. So why should we care? Sea level rise creates hazards that affect local communities and economies. One example of hazard is coastal erosion, which is the loss or displacement of land due to waves, currents, and storms. Coastal erosion will be even worse with sea level rise and may lead to even more beach loss than we see today. With climate change and sea level rise, we can expect larger storms, stronger storm surges, and drainage system failures. 
These all directly impact our beaches, coastal cities, and roads. The rate of sea level rise has increased over time. Today, the average global sea level is 14 centimeters, higher than it was in 1900. Human activities are responsible for more than 70% of the observed sea level rise since 1900 and have been the main driving force of sea level rise since 1850. These problems are not itty bitty and easily managed. They're big and ugly and take up a lot of time to handle. Sea level rise is happening and is going to continue to happen. So let's start becoming prepared and learning how to handle this situation before it gets worse. We start with ourselves and learn how to reduce our daily carbon footprint. This can be done by creating policies that change our city's energy sources, utilizing hybrid forms of transportation, solar panels, reducing our household food waste, and buying energy efficient appliances like washers, dryers, refrigerators, and lights all help to address the root cause of climate change. Furthermore, we need cooperation from global policymakers from nations across the world to address the increase in concentration of greenhouse gases. We also need the support from you by doing your research and looking into policies and decisions being made in your local community. Spend time learning about candidates that share your environmental and conservation goals and interests. Sea level rise will affect many places and communities around the world. And island nations lie on the front lines of this crisis. The solution to the problem has to be met by a global effort. This is a problem that requires the attention of more than just a single individual. We will have to come together as community members, researchers, government officials, and city planners so we can work towards our common goal of changing the health of our planet. We will need to come together to create sustainable cities, towns, and economies that will lead a new resilient era and preparation for whatever sea level rise hazards may come. Thank you for joining us to learn about the two main contributors to sea level rise affecting our Hawaiian island community thermal expansion, and melting of glaciers and ice sheets. Mahalo for watching and doing your part. Malama Aina.